Now Aristotle on the function of education. Aristotle has also explained uh, in uh, detail the functions of education. Now what are those functions? According to him the function of education is to fit the young for intelligent participation in civic activities. Yani jo young hai unki ek intelligent participation, unki ek behtareen participation, unki ek aisi partition jo reasoning or rational pe based ho civic activities ke andar, shahri activities ke andar, moisharthi activities ke andar wo hai aur phir citizen must be taught obedience to the law through education aur citizens ko law ki obedience sikhana hai through education. And then he says that the function of education is also regarding the moral education and moral education is happiness, yani khushi, virtue that is goodness and contemplation is about thinking skills and developing thinking skills so that people can think and be a part of the developmental process. Happiness. Happiness is a matter of chief concern in Aristotle's conception of a good life or Aristotle ek achhi zindagi mein khushi ko bahut ahmiyat dete hue nazar aate hain har point pe and happiness is essentially the realization and the exercise of virtue aur unka ye kehna hai ki happiness jo hai wo realization yani aa gayi hai aur exercise hai aur istemal hai good virtues ka yani achhe virtues ka achhe kaam ka aur goodness ka aur self direction ka and then what is virtue Virtue or goodness is of two kinds. Virtue, yani achai, ye goodness do tarah ki hai. Goodness of intellect, yani intellectual goodness. And the second is the character goodness, the goodness of character, yani aapke kirdar ki achai. Goodness of intellect is mainly increased by instruction. Ab ye goodness of intellect jo hai, ye instruction se. Jaise usataza apne students ko instruct karte hai, to aap unki goodness of intellect ko badha rahe hai. And the goodness of character is not produced by nature. Ye khud bukhudi se nature ki taraf se nahi aati, balke it is by the habits which are formed through an interaction with the proper environment. Aur jab hum ek achche environment ke saath interact karte hain, to humare andar goodness of character develop ho jati hai. Ye natural nahi hai, ye by birth nahi hai, lekin ye develop hoti hai, jab hum ek achche environment se interact karte hain. Jaise schoolon ke andar, आप बच्चों को यह भी मुमकिन है कि गुडनेस ऑफ कैरेक्टर बताएं चूंकि वो एक अच्छे माहौल के अंदर है और उसके बाद कंटेंप्लेशन कंटेंप्लेशन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रैशनल एंड लॉजिकल थिंकिंग स्किल्स इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप अ मोरल एप्टीट्यूड अमंग सिटीजंस और ये डेवलपमेंट uh, है रैशनल और लॉजिकल थिंकिंग स्किल्स की जो कि सिटीजंस के अंदर एक मोरल एप्टीट्यूड डेवलप करती है यानी मोरालिटी डेवलप करती है इन अ रैशनल मैनर and finally aristocracy of intellect ki baat karte hain jisme ye kaha jata hai ki aristotle showed a disdain for manual labor aristotle ne jo labor kaam tha jo physical work hai uske liye apni napasandeedgi ka izhar kiya hai aur wo ye samajhte the ki insaan jo hai wo sochne ke liye banaya gaya hai aur uska kaam sochne se develop karna hai jo ki iske bare mein unka ek quote ye hai he who can foresee with his mind is by nature intended to be lord and master जो अपने जहन के जरिए सोच सकता है और देख सकता है फ्यूचर में आने वाले वक्त को वो डेस्टिंड है एक लॉर्ड बनने के लिए और मास्टर बनने के लिए एंड ही हु कैन वर्क ओनली विद इज बॉडी इज बाय नेचर अ स्लेव और जो अपने जिस्म से कोई काम करता है फिजिकल वर्क करता है वो स्लेव बनने के लिए डेस्टिंड है वो गुलाम बनने के लिए मजबूर है